Right, here we are. It's the day after we did our second flip. Uh, we've just retrieved all the bits and pieces of SSR rocket back here onto the front lawn of the Walvis Bay Yacht Club and we've done a, a initial assessment of all the damage and it doesn't look too bad. A lot less than last time. Uh, the boat itself is pretty well intact. Amazingly, the wing behind me here is pretty much uh, is pretty much intact, the main section. There has been some parts that have copped quite a lot of damage. Uh, the flap down over there is pretty much has to have a full rebuild, but the two end flaps are fine. So we've had a look at all the videos and uh, we've seen that uh, what initially caused the uh, boat to lift at the nose was we hit a little uh, freak wave. Every now and then the waves from the Atlantic roll around the headland 10 kilometers away and come rolling all the way up the bay and every now and then we get the last little remnants of those waves and that's what we hit at, a, at just under 50 knots. That lifted the front of the boat up and instead of the foil carrying the load about a third of the way down, it took all the load on its tip and it broke. It's not strong enough. Obviously it didn't have a big enough safety margin and uh, once the foil stood upright, the wing just took over and ripped the boat out of the water. So uh, it's quite annoying looking at the video, seeing how fast the boat went. When the boat's in a normal state, it's, it's absolutely fine. Uh, the boat, it is flawed. Uh, if that nose does come up a little bit too much, we know it does the backflip. We know a little wave, a long time ago, we said a little wave can unsettle this boat. We come to Warvis Bay in Namibia to get dead flat water so we don't get little waves. And uh, we hit one, probably because I was a bit bloody minded yesterday and was trying to hang on to that one gust a bit too long to nail this record. And uh, we hit a road wave. So anyway, it's funny, road waves come in that size too, you know. So uh, anyway, so we'll have it all back together. It'll take about seven days. Uh, if there's one thing we've learned from speed sailing, it's that perseverance pays. If you look at Hydropter, they've been at it for decades. Macquarie Innovation, same thing. We've been doing this since uh, for seven years and we're relative newcomers in, in the boating uh, fraternity. One day it will all come together. Uh, it has for them, it will for us, and uh, this is our last attempt. Seven days later we'll have this boat turned around and it'll be back out there again. I'm confident to get back in it. It's, uh, I still think it's got a world record sitting in all this wreckage out here and we've got a good team here and uh, we'll turn this around as always.